All right, let's look at some free fall practice problems. So I have our equations up here at the top. Um, you can see that everything is in terms of y, because now we're in the y dimension, and everything's in terms of g, which remember g, and it's a pet peeve of mine. g is the acceleration due to gravity, okay, do not call G gravity, okay, gravity is a force, this little G is the acceleration due to that force, so that pet, pet peeve, so here, and we know that with freely falling objects, we have uniform acceleration, that's a big thing, so a robot probe drops a camera off the rim of a 239 meter high cliff on Mars, we're on Mars, not Earth, where the free fall acceleration is negative 3.7 meters per second squared, okay? So, G in this case is not 9.8 meters per second squared downward because we are on Mars, and the 9.8 meters per second squared downward is for Earth. So, um, I'm just going to draw a picture. So, here's the ground, here's the camera, and... This cliff is 239 meters tall, okay? Um, so let's just write down what we know. First of all, this word drops. That means that the initial vertical velocity is zero, okay? Because the object's dropped, initial velocity is zero. Now, we could do this one of two ways. I normally say that the initial position is going to be 239 meters and that the ground, which is the final position of the camera, is zero. If you do it that way, delta y, which is the final position minus the initial position, that's going to be 0 minus 239 meters, which is negative 239 meters. I'm going to say that down is negative. Down is negative. Up is positive. Okay? So that negative 239 meters just means that the camera drops 239 meters down from where it started. Okay? All right. So we know the initial vertical velocity is zero, and we know the vertical displacement. So now we also know the acceleration, and that's for Mars, is negative 3.7 meters per second squared. And for part A, we want to know the velocity with which the camera hits the ground. So for part A, we want to know the final vertical velocity. Okay, and I have plenty of information. Notice I'm not given time, and I'm not looking for time. Not yet, anyway. So I'm going to use the equation up here that does not include the time. So this is going to be Vy final squared equals Vy naught squared. Oh, but that's zero. So let's just go ahead and erase that. That's zero. So this will be VYF squared equals 2G delta Y. Okay, again, that initial vertical velocity here is zero. Makes it a little easier. So now I want to solve for the final vertical velocity. So I have to take the square root of both sides. So the final vertical velocity is the square root of 2 times negative 3.7 meters per second squared times a negative 239 meters. Here's the thing, if you don't make the negative 239, if you don't make that negative, then you're going to try to take the square root of a negative number, which can't be done, okay? Not in physics. Not here. So in my calculator, I'm just going to plug in here what we have. Stop that. 
I really need to get a new calculator. So stop using my phone. So 2 times 3.7, I know it's negative, times 239, and then we're going to take the square root, and I'm getting here, Forty two. Let's go three sig figs here. Forty two point one meters per second. But do you know how when you take the square root of something, it's plus or minus? Plus or minus. Well, we know that this velocity is going to be negative because the object is falling down, and we have denoted that down is negative. So the answer here is negative forty two point one meters per second. Okay, oh, you can't see that. Negative 42.1 meters per second is the velocity that the camera will hit the ground with. We've got to include direction because it asks for velocity and not the speed. So now it asks for the time. So I could use what I found in part A and solve for the time, or I could not. Okay, so um, I probably... I'm not going to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this equation right here to solve for the time. But the big thing here is that the initial vertical velocity is zero, and zero times t is just zero. So that's going to be delta y equals one-half g t squared, and I'm going to solve for the time. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, because I like to solve for my unknown first and then plug in the numbers, but you can do it either way. And then divide by g, and so I have 2 delta y over g equals t squared, and then i got to take the square root. So t here is the square root of 2 delta y over g. So I'm going to take 2, the square root, obviously, times negative 239 meters divided by negative 3.7 meters per second squared, and that'll give me my time. Okay, So that's a very basic free fall drop problem, Okay, but they're really... Nothing different. We're still doing uniform acceleration. It's just now the object is accelerating uniformly in the vertical versus the horizontal. Okay, that's it.